Howdy y'all, it's Jordan Smith. Today I want to talk to you about radiant barriers. I'm going to talk a little bit about how they work, then I'm going to show you that it's actually working, and then I'm going to talk a lot about how it works, some of the geeky stuff. So let's get right into it. This is LP Tech Shield Radiant Barrier. And what's cool about this is it's a radiant barrier that is integrated into our OSB sheathing. So the board looks like this. We have OSB, and then it has this aluminum barrier right there that keeps heat from radiating into the space. So the little bit about how it works is heat conducts in three ways, convection, conduction, and radiation, or I should say heat transfers in three different ways, conduction, convection, and radiation. So this takes care of one part of our heat transfer, and that is radiation, but only if you do it right. So now I'm gonna show you that it actually works. I've got an infrared thermometer right here. Now, infrared thermometers aren't great at showing what temperatures things actually are, but they are great at showing how much um, radiant energy infrared light is coming off of this board here. So we're at 82 degrees on this board right now. It's a Texas winter day, overcast, so it's not the greatest uh, day to be showing this, but by the time the summer rolls around, this will all be covered up, and I think it should show you what I'm wanting to show. This is my roof deck on the same side, so I just tested over there, the westerly facing wall. Now I'm gonna show you here on a westerly facing roof, and I've got 72 degrees. See that there? I don't know if you can see that. 72, 71 and a half, 72 degrees. So we have a 10 degree delta on a day where it's really not all that hot out here. So just imagine what it's actually doing in the summer. We've got a westerly facing wall, which isn't taking near as much radiant energy as the roof, and we still have a 10 degree delta. Now, let me talk a little bit about how it works. Um, so like I said, three different ways that heat is transferred. We have convection, conduction, and radiation. Radiation is how we get the heat from the sun, right? In space, it's a vacuum, so there's no way for that heat to get from the sun to the, to the earth except through ultraviolet light. So it's actually sending ultraviolet light as heat into our atmosphere and it heats up our air and our water and those transfer heat by something called convection. So as those move around, as the water flows and as the air flows, we get the hot air particles or water particles moving from one point to another, transferring that heat with them. The other way that it works is through convection. And that is very important in building assemblies because right here where we have this rafter touching our roof deck, we have convection right here. So even though we have the same aluminum uh, backer, it doesn't do us any good right here at this rafter because we have negated our radiant energy, and we are conducting our heat straight from the roof deck into here. That's why things like advanced framing, which this roof is not framed with, but if we can spread these rafters out further, then we have less conduction through our rafters, and our radiant barrier can do a good job. The last thing that you need to keep in mind is, depending on how you insulate this, you could totally negate how um, your radiant barrier works. So for example, in this cavity here, we're gonna be doing fiberglass insulation. I've upgraded to two by 10 rafters, which allows me to have my R value that I need in my roof while still maintaining an air gap between my insulation and my roof deck. That air gap allows this radiant barrier to work because it's not gonna emit the heat into the cavity, it's gonna turn around and reject it out the outside. But if I took my insulation and I put it all the way up against here, now I'm conducting the heat from my roof deck into my insulation. So if I do this and then I go with a spray foam here, if I came and I spray foamed all this, well, I shouldn't use the LP Tech Shield product because it's not doing any good. As soon as I spray foam all the way up to there, it's conducting the heat from the roof deck into the spray foam and the spray foam will then re-radiate or conduct the heat into the living space below. So if you spend the money for a, a radiant barrier, make sure that you build the whole system to take advantage of the radiant barrier. Don't just put it up there and hope that it magically happens because that's not how it works. You have to have 
an air gap on the back side of this in order for the radiant barrier properties to kick in. There's a whole lot more about heat transfer that I'd love to get into, but I'm out here on the job site and can't really get into it. If you wanna see a video more about heat transfer, comment below, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if we've earned it. Go follow us over on Instagram at Jordan Smith Builds, at Smith House. If you have any other questions about how we built this house or specifically LP Tech Shield, comment below. And we'll see you next time on Smith House. <laughs>